Hey there, you're listening to the Girls Talking Life podcast, and I'm your host, Johanna. If you're like me, you love time with friends. I always leave feeling encouraged, inspired to try something different, or I've learned something new. So why not continue to grow even when we can't be with our girlfriends? We're not made to do life on our own. So in each episode of this show, I'll bring you a girl and her story to give you refreshing ideas to stir your soul. Let's walk this road together. Are you ready to talk life? Hi there, and welcome to week seven of the Summer of Friendship series here on Girls Talking Life. Last week, we talked about our capacity for friendships based on our personality and our season of life and thought through our expectations for ourselves and for those friends. If you missed last week's episode, I encourage you to go back and take a listen. Today, we're going to look at who we have in our lives, identify a woman or two that you'd like to get closer to, and talk about ways to deepen our friendships, how to move from being acquaintances or casual friends to a deeper, closer relationship. Even if you're not part of the Summer Friendship Challenge, you're getting the challenge here today. This week, I want you to name who your friends are. Pause this, grab my friendship inventory, and answer the questions. Who are the people in your life? It can be a long list of 150 people that you know, down to your closest circle of five, or it can be a shorter list of your closer 15 to 20 friends. Then indicate where they fall in your friendship circles, like we talked about last week, your outermost circle to your most inner circle. What is your friendship level with each person? Are they a casual friend, a close friend, or your deepest friend? And then notice if there's anyone you would like to be in a different category. Who do you want to go deeper with? Shasta Nelson, in her book, Frentimacy, talks about what she calls the intimacy gap. It's the distance between the friendship we have with a person and the friendship we want. So, for example, I have a new friend who I think I'd like to be really close to, but we're just not there yet. I have another friend who used to be very close, but our seasons have changed and we've drifted to more casual friends, but I'd like it to be the way it used to be. There's a gap in both of those relationships. If you find similar gaps on your list, the next thing to do is to ask, do you have the capacity to make it happen? Do you have the time and energy right now in your season to invest more in that friendship? And maybe that means spending some less time elsewhere. Remember your limitations. Also, think about the other person in their current season. Do you think that they have the capacity to deepen the friendship? Lastly, I encourage you to pray over your list. Ask God to show you where you're spending your time and if that's in line with his will. Ask for guidance on these friendships and for God to illuminate anyone who might be craving deeper connection. Ask for him to help you set expectations for yourself and for your friendships that are healthy and honoring to him. Okay, once you have your list and have thought and prayed through your friendships and identified a woman or two there that you'd like to get closer to, I believe that there are a few factors that lead us into deeper friendship. We're going to talk about four of them today, the first two being the most important, time and authenticity. It takes time spent together for someone to go from being an acquaintance to a casual friend to a close and meaningful friend. If you were here last week, you heard me talk about the British anthropologist, Dr. Robin Dunbar. He says it takes about 200 hours of investment in the space of a few months to move a stranger into being a good friend. He goes on to say that this is just a guideline, not a precise number, but his research shows that time is a big factor in deepening friendships. I would argue that authenticity during the time you spend with someone is the next crucial ingredient. In order for the other person to truly know you, you need to show them your authentic self. Time spent together being fully who you are will bring you closer. We talked a little earlier in this series, week four, about being the real you and letting your weird show. I admit I sometimes have trouble with this. I want to show up as my most polished self, but it's something I've been working on because I know that it will allow people to see my uniqueness more clearly. When you're being your true self, your uniqueness will show more clearly how masterfully God created you. It's what will make your friends love you more. So the first two factors in moving toward a deeper friendship are time and authenticity. 
show up and be ready to genuinely share who you are. Numbers three and four may not be as important as number one and number two, but they are still powerful tools to move you closer. They are asking good questions and listening well. Let's start with the questions. Get curious about the people in your life, specifically the women you want to be closer to, and start asking good questions. I am naturally curious and have lots of questions, but if that's not you, ask God to give you a healthy curiosity. Ask questions not from a place of nosiness or judgment, which can be easy to do, but instead seek to understand the person you're talking to. Some questions to ask might be, what's going really well for you right now? Or how can I be praying for you? Because I see so much value in questions that start good conversations, I created conversation cards with prompts and questions to get you going when you are gathering with women. Once you ask the questions, then you have to listen, and this may be the hardest part. Listening and really comprehending what is being said isn't always easy, but if you care enough to ask the question, you should be willing to fully hear the answer. There are different ways to be engaged listeners. We can listen cognitively, hearing facts and having thoughts about what is being said, and we can also listen effectively, hearing emotions and having feelings about what's being said. When we do the latter and listen empathetically, we openly connect with the experience or the point of view of the other person. And listening well is a way to love well. Author and professor of pastoral counseling, David W. Osberger said that being heard is so close to being loved that for the average person, they are almost indistinguishable. We show love when we get to know a person and use that knowledge to respond in a way that matters to them. In asking questions to go deeper, chances are you're going to get a pretty personal, maybe even vulnerable answer. So how do you respond? Be empathetic to what was said. Even if you don't agree, you can always respond with gentleness and respect. Ask follow-up questions like, what do you mean when you say that? And can you tell me more about that? Proverbs 27.9 says that oil and perfume make the heart glad and the sweetness of a friend comes from her earnest counsel. I wholeheartedly want to be a friend who responds in this way. Now it's your turn to share a similar experience or your own fear or insecurity, or speak up about something you're passionate about. But remember, we have to be authentic and share who we really are in order to be genuinely known. So in review, the four factors that can lead us into deeper friendships are time, authenticity, asking good questions, and listening well. That's all I have for you today. I hope you're encouraged by this. I hope you've identified a few women you'd like to create deeper friendships with and are already thinking about how you might put these tools to use. Next week, Jill E. McCormick will be back to talk with us about dropping certain habits that keep us from going deeper. She is also a curious question asker. Find out more about that next week. Until next time, remember... Friendship is an investment. It takes time spent together being your authentic self to create deep and meaningful connection. Seek to know and understand your friends by asking questions and really listening to their answers. Being a follower of Jesus, I want to honor God in all I do, and I bet you do too. Let's go deep with our girlfriends, building them up and encouraging them. 